Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. First off, a huge thank you to all the love and support on my last video. We hit over 300 likes and that honestly means the world to me. So you guys are amazing. Today we've got another round of awesome Samsung features, some brand new, some classic, but all super useful whether you're a long time Galaxy users or just switched from iPhone. So grab your phone, let's dive in. And hey, if you find this useful, smash the like button, drop a comment with your favorite trick and subscribe so we can keep the momentum going. The more likes this video gets, the more YouTube pushes it out to everyone. And I know we can hit that 300 like mark again. So let's begin. Feature number one is your iPhone style water depth effect on your lock screen for your Samsung phone. So with iOS 26, Apple has introduced that stunning spatial water depth effect like this. So where your clock basically sits behind and inside the wallpaper. So this basically creates an immersive time floating in the ocean look on your screen. So now guess what? You can recreate that same exact effect on your Samsung Galaxy screen. So all you need is two apps, Good Lock app and the Photo Widget Easy app and your photo. So with these effects, you can basically create a 3D style lock screen effect that looks super premium and totally transforms your Galaxy appearance. So let me show you how to create this. So first you need to go ahead and download a few backgrounds. So here, these are all the backgrounds which are available, which you can use. I'll go ahead and use this one. So I'll first go ahead and set this as my lock screen wallpaper. Now that's done, I'll press done for now. Now next, I wanna go ahead and tap on the gallery again. And I wanna go ahead and crop this image to see only the top of this water. So to do this, I'll go ahead and use AI select. I'll go ahead and select the top of the area. Then I'll tap on download. Now next you wanna go ahead and open up the Play Store and here you wanna make sure Photo Widget Easy app is installed. Once installed, you wanna go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. In the Good Lock app, you wanna go ahead and make sure the Lock Star module is installed and the Clock Face module is installed. So now once that is in, we are all ready to go. So now we'll go ahead and assemble these pieces. So to do this, we'll go ahead and long press on our home screen, tap on wallpaper and style. Tap on our lock screen. And now first we'll go ahead and change the clock. So tap on the clock, tap on style, and then go ahead and swipe all the way to the right. Go ahead and choose the clock face. Now you want to go ahead and choose this style here. Go ahead and apply that style. Go ahead and make this bigger and try to position the clock so that it's in between of the surface of the water. Now next, you wanna go ahead and tap on lock star. Then tap on app widgets, scroll down and find the photo widget easy. Go ahead and choose the first one, add that widget. Now go ahead and tap on this and add that photo which we cropped. Now we'll tap on apply. And then you wanna go ahead and bring this to the surface of the water. Let's go ahead and expand this. Go ahead and position this so that it matches the photo here. And then once you're happy with it, tap done. And then tap on home. And then go ahead and see your wallpaper. So as you can see, your lock screen will look fresh, modern, and unique, just like the iPhone's latest look, but 100% customizable your way. Feature number two is where you can restart or turn off your phone without even touching it. So no need to fumble with the power and the volume button here or bringing down the quick panel menu and turning it off from here. You can go ahead and just speak to your phone and turn it off. So here is an example. I'll go ahead and say, Bixby, turn off my phone. Are you sure? Turn off my phone. And there you go. This has basically turned off my phone without even touching it. So let me show you how you can turn off your phone or restart your phone without even touching it using Bixby. So in order to use Bixby to turn off your phone or restart your phone, you need to first go ahead and open up settings. Next, you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find advanced features. Here, tap on Bixby. And here you wanna go ahead and set up your Bixby. So here you wanna go ahead and make sure use while locked is turned on. Scroll down and then go ahead and tap on talk to Bixby without wake up. So tap on this and turn this feature on. So now after you turn this feature on, you can go ahead and give commands to your phone. Bixby, 
restart my phone. Are you sure? And now I can go ahead and say if I want to go ahead and do this action. If yes, I'll go ahead and say this word here and it'll basically go ahead. So this is perfect for hands-free use, accessibility, or moments when your hands are full. It's a simple voice command that makes daily use smoother and smarter. Feature number three is where you can access hidden brightness settings on your Samsung Galaxy device. So there's a hidden brightness control that most users don't know about. So if you go ahead and swipe down your quick panel and then go ahead and locate your brightness level here, you can go ahead and access hidden brightness setting menu. So to unlock this hidden brightness setting menu, you wanna go ahead and long press on your brightness meter here, and then this will take you to the hidden menu. Now here you can go ahead and access all of these settings. So adaptive brightness, extra brightness, and adaptive color tone. Adaptive color tone will let you adjust the temperature of your screen. Extra brightness will give you extra brightness. And lastly, adaptive brightness will basically adapt to the lighting of your room. So if you're in the direct sunlight, you need to go ahead and turn this feature off. But if you're in a room or maybe late at night, you can go ahead and turn on adaptive brightness and this will basically adapt the brightness according to your room. So this gives you fine tuned control over your screen's brightness, helping you with the visibility and even saving battery life. Feature number four is where you can enable full spectrum for app calls on your Samsung Galaxy device. So this one's a game changer for voice clarity. Full spectrum voice mode enhances the audio frequency range during calls, meaning your voice sounds richer, clearer, and more natural on supported apps like WhatsApp, Messenger, or even Samsung's own call app. So let me show you the difference. So here, if I go ahead and start a normal call and then go ahead and look at my mic mode. So as you can see, I'm only given the option for standard or voice focus. So voice focus will basically drown any background noise and will basically keep your voice crystal clear. Now let's go ahead and start a call from WhatsApp. Now when we go ahead and look at our options for our mic mode, you can see that we get the full spectrum mode. So full spectrum voice mode, also known as the wide spectrum, is a microphone setting that captures both the user's voice and all the ambient sound around them. So as opposed to the voice isolation, a voice focus here, this basically filters out the background noise. So this mode is useful for calls with multiple people in the same room or situations where you want to share the full audio experience of your environment with the person on the other end of the call. So if you want everyone to hear what is happening around you, you wanna go ahead and make sure you're on full spectrum mode. Then tap done. And then when you go ahead and make your conversation, the other person on the line can basically hear what's happening on this side of the call as well. So you can enjoy HD quality voice calls with lifelike sound especially noticeable with the Galaxy Buds or any high quality earbuds. Feature number five is where you can bring selected icons to a specific page instantly. So I tired of dragging apps one by one. Now you can go ahead and long press multiple icons and then you can go ahead and move it to any page you like all at once. So let me show you how to do this. So here on my home screen, I have this page here and I wanna go ahead and move all of these icons onto this new screen here. However, if I go ahead and long press on this and then move it. So this is basically a very long and very tiring work for me. So let me show you how you can basically select all of these icons and move them all at once over here. So to do this, you want to go ahead and first long press on them, select it, select all the icons, then go ahead and move yourself to the next page and then go ahead and just tap on that. So if you go ahead and tap on the location where you want to place the icons, go ahead and lift your finger and those apps will then be moved to there. So this is a massive time saver for organizing your home screen, especially when setting up a new phone or rearranging your layout. Feature number six is where you can show date on your home screen status bar. So if you like having your date always visible like this, Samsung lets you enable it right beside your time. So let me show you how you can do this. So for this, we need to go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. Now you wanna go ahead and scroll down and you wanna find Quick Star. So this is the module you need. Go ahead and tap on this. Turn this feature on, and then go ahead and tap on clock settings. And here you need to go ahead and find show date. So if I go ahead and turn this off, the date is turned off. However, if I turn it on, you'll see the date at the top left. If you tap on this, you'll be able to change the format of your date. So you can go ahead and choose whatever you like. I like the full format, showing me the day, the date, and the month. If I go back, I can even go ahead and change the position and visibility of that date. So I can go ahead and choose left, or I can go ahead and choose right, or I can go ahead and hide completely. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose it to the, my left side. 
and then I go ahead and tap on home. So as you can see, my home screen now displays my date just at the top left next to the time. So you stay organized and informed at a glance. So no need to open the calendar or pull down this notification panel just to see your date. You can go ahead and just view it on your home screen. And lastly, feature number seven is where you can delete your screenshot automatically after sharing. So have you ever been in a situation where after you share a screenshot, your screenshot basically stays in your gallery and basically clogs up your gallery? Well, now Samsung has a solution for that. And it basically gives you this option where if you take a screenshot and you share that screenshot, that screenshot will automatically be deleted from your phone. So Samsung can now auto delete it for you. So let me show you how to do this. So first you need to go ahead and open up settings. You wanna go ahead and scroll down and find advanced features. Next, we'll go ahead and find screenshots and screen recording. And here you wanna go ahead and find delete after sharing. So this will automatically delete screenshots, screen write images and AI select captures after sharing them. So this will only delete after you share them, not after you take them. So turn this feature on and now let's go ahead and take a screenshot. So for example, something from here. So now let's go ahead and share this new DJI drone. So I'll go ahead and take a screenshot. I'll go ahead and share this. So as you can see, I've shared that screenshot. So now let's go ahead and find in gallery, something regarding DJI. So as you can see, there's nothing there in my gallery where I've taken a screenshot. So this keeps your gallery clutter-free, saves storage, and saves you time from manually cleaning up old screenshots later on. And that's it, seven awesome Samsung tips and features you got to try. Some old, some new, but all super handy. So whether you've been using Galaxy for years or just got your first one. So if you learned something new, drop a like, leave me a comment with your favorite feature and subscribe for more Samsung tricks every week. Let's keep this momentum going. Can we hit 300 likes on this video again? I know we can. Thanks again for your support and I'll see you in the next one.